Hey Cappy, welcome back to my channel. Thank you everyone for being here for your tarot reading. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or to the cross watchers who are dealing with the Cappy. And we're going to be looking into your current situation here. So anything that's sort of been on your mind, anything that appears to be an outstanding problem or issue you sort of want to wrap your head around and understand uh, in a little bit more detail, uh, this reading is going to be about that. So, um, we're going to look into that area of your life here. So it is a love tarot reading. Uh, anyone after a private reading, please feel free to email me directly. I am currently accepting those. I do have a few spots. Um, otherwise, drop a like on this video if you enjoy this content. Please subscribe to the channel and join my growing little YouTube family. Also, if you wanted to sign up and become a channel member, you will get access to bonus readings and extended versions to readings as well. So um, let's have a look and see uh, what's coming up for you, Capricorn. What is the situation around you here? Any sort of advice? Um, but first, let's look at how this situation is presenting itself. Okay, it's coming up as the Seven of Pentacles. So I'm seeing you, you're doing a lot of legwork here, thinking about the situation that's at hand. I feel like you may feel a little bit like a fish out of water. It's almost like you're outside of your element. Um, and what I'm seeing here is that there, there is a particular feeling. It can be around a fellow Earth sign as well. So a fellow Cappy, a Taurus or a Virgo. Uh, and I want to say that there is there is an issue here at hand with the Seven of Pentacles. It's like you're looking at how far you've come with this person. Okay, it's almost like you're reminiscing potentially. I see some of you like looking back at old photos and things. And I feel like this may have something to do with your investment in a connection. You're questioning your invest investment. Uh, and how far you've come, what's happened, what hasn't happened. Um, it's almost like you're overlooking this and seeing what's going on here. Where can I do better? How did this fail? Where, where, where could I do things differently? Uh, and I feel like there's a lot to work with here. So there's a lot to consider. And I can see you there considering every single detail, going over every single detail, because that's just how meticulous you are. Um, but let's see what else we can learn about this situation. Okay, so the Temperance card, the Devil. You've come up as your, your own energy with the Devil card, Capricorn. That's got to that's gotta count for something. Okay, Seven of Wands. So these two servants could be linked, uh, but they both represent very different things. Um, okay, I'm seeing someone pushing against a situation and the other one is sort of coming forward with it. So what I get from this is that one of you is fighting for something and it's coming from a place of anger. Okay, because anger and overindulgence is coming up. The Temperance card is telling you to try to remain peaceful in a situation or peace needs to be, there needs to be peace. Um, because I feel like for a lot of you, you've been sort of going at it with this person and it hasn't really helped because it just uh, fans the flames and instead of getting a resolution, a peaceful resolution, it just becomes worse and worse and it just becomes more tense as the days and weeks go by. So I feel like there is, there is something here, but it's coming from an ang angry place. Uh, so I don't know if there's some hostility here, Cappy. You might be holding some hostility towards your person. They might have done something here to upset you. I don't know if you want to get back at that, get back at them. I am sensing that there is like some of you want to retaliate. Okay. You want to stoop a little bit lower and you want to, be spiteful here okay the devil can be spiteful not always but i think from what i'm getting in this reading i think some of you want to be pretty petty okay there's 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 a pettiness that i think is is coming up in this reading and it's hard i get that you know you've got this emotional reaction you're not happy with what you see uh, and a, a lot of you feel like you've invested a lot into this person and haven't necessarily gotten what you wanted back uh, it could be more of an obsession and an attachment rather than love at this stage, 
or it's telling me with the situations that it's morphing from love into like this unhealthy obsession. It's almost like a competitive energy too. And that can really make or break relationships, especially can break relationships and connections. So I don't know, I get a sense some of you are out there trying to outdo each other. It's petty though, it's petty. You know it's petty, but you're still doing it. Um, so I feel like you need to sort of check yourself here or could be this person. They might need to reconsider the actions that they're taking. Will they? Maybe. But I feel if they don't, you're going to continue to do what they're doing. You're trying to mirror them in that instance. And it's just going to keep keep going on like that, like a vicious cycle. And, and we don't want that. Uh, this investment is somehow tied into like dependence. There has been a situation where you've relied very much on this person and they helped you through some tough times here. It could be divorce, it could be a previous breakup, it could be financial issues, it could be trauma, uh, addictions. There's something that you've been through and they've been there by your side and they've helped you along the way. And I think that's what's made you more attached to them than what you would have been if you hadn't gone through that with them or they weren't in your life as you were going through that. And it sort of makes sense because they were there when you needed them, vice versa. You were also there at a time of need on their side where they really needed support and guidance and all those things. And you you were there, you were there for them. Uh, and I feel like that's, that's what's making you feel uh, like think and feel different with that seven of pentacles. I see you there and it's you. It's like that investment model in relationships. And it's all that time and energy and love and everything else you invested, any other resources, time, uh, any other resources that you invested. It's been a lot that you've put in. I don't see you walking away at this stage. I feel like there needs to be peace. It needs to be a time of peace because I think you've been at each other's throats for quite some time now. And it's almost like an injection of that harmony is needed. Um, but I'm seeing truthfulness. So honesty, honesty about what the devil brings. I do feel like someone's going to be honest, but someone else isn't going to like that honesty and they're going to feel like it's a personal attack. Uh, they could really close themselves off. I don't think so. I see it to be quite explosive and that's why I keep encouraging peace because it could be something that could be avoided um, or this could all have been avoided type thing. It didn't have to be the way it was. It could have turned out to be so much more different than it, than it did, than it was or how it has turned out or how it will turn out. So I feel like for some of you that haven't gone through that, for others, it might be a little bit too late and you're like, you know, should have heard this reading earlier. But for some of you, you haven't lived this experience yet. So it may come as a warning to sort of keep the peace. You know, anger is a very, very, very powerful emotion and it can make us do a lot of crazy things. Um, when we let anger, you know, if you sort of picture yourself Picture your emotions driving driving the bus and it's like anger takes the wheel, right? And then everyone else just goes along with it. And anger is just going to take everyone down with it. It really is. So that's a bit, a bit of a warning, a bit of an analogy, and a bit of a warning here for you, Cappy, to watch out for that anger. Now, it could be theirs as well. Uh, it's hard to pinpoint who's coming up, who's got, who's, who's got more anger than who. Again, it's not a competition, Cappy. I keep seeing this like it's a competitive kind of energy between the both of you. Not healthy. Okay. Um, what else? There could be a surprise uh, or an epiphany. Now, it may be tied into this trauma. However, you guys sort of bonded deeply over this very major life event. Um, but you guys are problem solvers by nature. You like to to fix things. Um, and I feel like this epiphany could help you mediate things. I think it's on your end because it's facing you. And I think this epiphany could really help the both of you. Uh, but I think right now, probably that best course of action as you sort of look over things, mull over things, and look at that investment, uh, I think that's what's needed. I do. 
uh, at this stage uh, between the both of you. Honesty really is the best policy here, but someone can't handle it. Someone can't handle that honesty. It's not, it's, it's going to rub them the wrong way. And I think their reaction is when you'll have to keep the peace and like calmly reassure them that everything's okay. And it's not as bad as they may be making it out to be. It sort of could come as a warning for them too, maybe. Mm. But they'll feel like cornered. They'll feel like it's a personal attack. And I, I don't think it's only you that has brought this to their attention or will bring this to their attention. I think there's other people around them. So if they if you do get like a really explosive reaction from them, chances are you're not the only one. And they've probably heard it multiple times and you might just be one of many times that they'll hear it. And then, yeah, they'll just get super, super defensive. But remember, if you try to keep the peace, you could have a much better resolution than you thought possible. I'll leave it at that, Cappy. So thank you again, everyone, for watching. Don't forget to drop a like. Um, please feel free to subscribe to the channel or sign up for channel membership. I'd love to see you on the other side. Uh, otherwise, all the best, Cappy, and bye for now.